and um, so we'll be good to go. So let's take a look at these charts. How to enter our setups on any market using our entry techniques and our hard stops on our entries. So let's take a look at it. I have two charts beside each other. We know that I have a uh, we have a dual trend filter. Hey, Ben Cat, good morning. We have a dual trend filter that we use in the room. This dual trend filter has a zone where these two trend lines, not trend lines, but uh, uh, trend zones run parallel with each other. And then we have our uh, proprietary Simrinko bar type we use that shows these higher lows that are green for price action going higher and lower highs if they're red if price action is going lower. So here's how you match it up. If you have the trend filter that is green, green, meaning our zone, our trend zone, which we've test, back tested for 30 years, our trend zone, this will tell us that the trend is up. If our second indicator, which is our Sim Rinko bar type, that's our proprietary bar type that we created, if that is setting higher lows and is green also, we are looking for buys. So I'll blow these charts up in a second to show you exactly what they look at blown up. I skinny them down so you can see the multiple setups. This is yesterday's trading. I'm going to first of all show you the buy setups and how we can look for entries and stops. And then I'll show you the sell setups, how we look for sells, shorts, and stops also. So let's, let's make this very, very simple. To the left, we have a trend that is up we have green green do not make this difficult this is a kiss method keep it simple if you have a green trend filter that is up our trend zone is green and our dual trend zone our sim Rinko bar type is setting higher lows and is green also we're going to look for buys only so one of our specific buys we look for is called a v bottom now what a V bottom is specifically is we have green green on our zones, both trend zones. It's called our dual trend filter is up. So what we're going to do is we're not going to counter trend trade the market. We're going to look for shallow retracements to look for trend continuations. We're going to try to let the market take the counter trend traders out of the market on these retracements. So when you see a retracement, when it turns red candles, our red Rinko bars against trend. We're going to look to look for the pullback and we're going to look for the continuation. All right, same thing here. We're going to look for the pullback when it closes red and look for the continuation. Now, we're going to know when there's a possible entry when uh, our yellow candles that turn yellow give us an entry so this is called a v bottom when these candles turn yellow after you have red retracement candles when they turn yellow that is your entry bar all right now this is our dual trend filter and this is our 120 20 uni rinko chart to the right of that I have our liquidity grab chart. Now our liquidity grab chart will tell us if market structure is up or down. Now on this chart, my uni Renko is a 1 120, a little bit different, because I want to see the market grabbing liquidity and it's also going to tell us where our entries are. Now how you match it up, and I'll show you right here on this specific entry. We were talking about this entry in the live room yesterday, these two entries. Let's look at these two entries, and I'll, I'll, I'll go over this a little bit, little bit more in detail. Hey, great, Gary. Awesome, man. So we get the pullback on our dual trend filter. We get the pullback. As we get the pullback, 
you can see that our trend over on our liquidity grab chart is holding price is not getting into our sim Rinko. this is our sim Rinko. this is our 25 sim Rinko. it's not getting into our trend filter meaning price is not closing below it so that tells us market structure is up it's holding it consequently market structure is up here also with our dual trend filter so your entry is going to be the first candle yellow candle that turns yellow and you can see it or a closing basis on this reversal bar so that's your entry then the market proceeds to go higher we get the retracement again here get the retracement again look at market structures up it doesn't close inside of our trend zones if it starts closing inside of our trend zones you have a higher probability of a stop out that is not a shallow retracement so you want to try and match up these charts to see on this retracement if this holds market structure. So let's go back and, and look at these buy submitted. setups. And I'm going to look for a sell setup. And let's take you through these. I won't make this video too long. This is yesterday's price action. We had some great trades yesterday using this technique. So I'm going to show you how we go from shop to trend. So if you noticed, on this left chart, this is our dual trend filter. We're looking for V bottoms. Momentum. We'll do another video on momentum trading tomorrow. But today we're looking just for V bottoms, how to trade the setups. But we get a retracement. We get a trend change here. We get a trend change. So the, the mark goes from a chop area, which you don't want to trade. So this is a chop area over here. How we know it's a chop area because notice our trend filter is green and red together. It's not green, green, or red, red. That's a chop area. Look how price action is getting into our zones, and it's red, green. Over here, it's red, green. That's not trending. We want green, green to trend. Green, green to trend. Very simple. Keep it simple. This is not difficult. Very easy to understand. This is visual trading. So then we start going green, green. Our trend filter, our Simrinko bar type, a 25 Simrinko bar type, and our zone filter is green, green. Green, green over here also, it starts trending up. We're getting out of the chop area into a trend. Let's start looking for setups. This first retracement, it catches the counter trend traders. Again, this retracement, we're looking for a buy V bottom. As this market retraces over here on our liquidity grab chart, you'll notice it's holding our structure here also. And then it gives us our reversal bar, our green reversal bar. This is your entry. So it's a close of this yellow bar, or consequently, you see we held market structure, it's a close of this candle. The entry will be the close of that candle, and the hard initial stop will be the low of this candle. So that's your entry, that's your stop. The next trade comes up, we start rallying, we get another retracement. As we're starting to get a retracement, we want to look at market structure. Our liquidity grab chart is holding market structure again. Remember, our, you're seeing higher lows now, green, green, we're looking for buys. It holds market structure again and gives a green reversal bar, another entry. Your entry here would be there, that candle close, and your stop would be the low of this candle. Order we start canceled. rallying again. Rally again. We get another pullback. We get a pullback, and we get a reversal yellow candle. And consequently, we hold our market structure low again. We're not getting in. That's the easiest thing to to visually trade. We're not getting into our dual zones. As long as price doesn't start closing inside of our zones, we're we're not afraid of a chop market. It's when it starts trading inside of our zones or it's opposite color, it's red, green, or green, red. That's when you stop trading. So we know when to get ready to trade and when not to trade. So the entry on this one, we get close to this high, this bar, the stop is a low. Market starts taking off. We got a nice big move. These are momentum entries. We'll go over this in another video. These are momentum entries that traders trade when we're pegged down here in a strong market. But let's just go over the V bottoms today in this video. 
So the next setup comes up, we get a big move in the S&P, right, from our last setup, 85 and three quarters, high as 04, just a real nice, strong 19-point move. Then we get the retracement again. We're not counter-trend traders. We know that we prey on counter-trend traders because we do not counter the overall tone of the market. We want to look for trend retracements or trend snapbacks. We get a retracement again in the market. Market structures up. We're setting higher lows on our dual trend filter, green, green. Let's look at this at 11.55, 11.55 over here. We get another buy setup. There it is. Look how market structure held yesterday right on our buy setup again. It's holding market structure. It's not getting in. Price is not closing inside our dual trend filter. That tells us we have an entry. There's the entry. Stop below the candle. Then the price starts moving in again. Let's move on. We still have green, green. Look for another V bottom. There's our V bottom on our dual trend filter. We need to hold price structure on our liquidity chart. Do we do it? We sure do. There's our entry. Stop is the low of the candle. And the market rallies from 04 and 3 quarters to 13 and 3 quarters, almost another 10 point move. So you can see that it goes from a chop area we go from a chop area on both charts into green green v bottom v bottom v bottom v bottom and it's l hold market structure those are buy setups now let's look for sell setups so the sell setups what i i tell traders all the time look for trade setups we had one two uh, uh two days in a row now but we're at 350 time of day trade to 410 you have Algorithms really cranking the market. Watch for setups. We got it again yesterday. It was perfect. We had a V top, two V tops. Let's take a look at the sell setups. Now, sell setups, we're going to look for market structure the other way. So, sell setups, let me blow this up and look at it. What we want to do now in sell setups, we want to have red, red. Now, the easy way to visually see this on the 12020 is I don't want to get into. Um, um, I want to have red, red. I don't want to have green, red on this chart. Green, red means chop. I want to have red, red, right? Green, red means chop. So when you see green, red up here, don't trade. Look how they're not a green. This is chop. You want to wait for the market to get trend. So as the market started breaking loose, we had several momentum trades. We'll go over this in the next video tomorrow. Momentum, momentum, momentum. You guys are doing very well on that. But then we look for the look for our V tops. So our V tops are here. What a V top is is now we're looking for the counter trend traders to go against our trend filter to the other side. Retracement. We don't counter trend trade the market. There's a retracement. There's a yellow candle reversal. Yellow candle reversal. But look at market structure in our, liqui our liquidity grab chart. Here's our liquidity grab chart. Our liquidity grab chart shows us that we're holding market structure. Look how it came right to it, almost to the tick, on this first one at 1554 at our time of day trade. Right here. So not only is it hitting our dual zone filter over here, our liquidity chart is telling us that they're trying to mark the market lower. It's not, price is not getting into these dual zones. Keep this simple. This is visual trading. All right? Red, red equals shorts. Green, green equals buys. If you have red, green, it's chop, stay away. If you have green, red, it's chop. I'm making this as simple as possible for all traders in all markets. Now, the structure of the market will tell us if we're going to sell a shallow retracement. So if you look at our liquidity grab chart that we have in the live room on the S&P, on this retracement, shallow retracement, the first candle that turns red and closes and it holds market structure it does not start closing above our candles then that is a sell signal entry will be the low of this candle when it closes the stop is the high of this candle now you can use the chart trader on ninja trader to as you take it your first target off you can lower your stop and as your second target off you can go break even and then just trail this position on an automated chart trader trail position so I made it quite simple now in the trading room I made it very very simple to visually see 
I got two dual trend fillers. It's been back tested this one for 30 years to being the best zone of reverse price in the s and I've got my Simrinko proprietary bar type that tells me that market structure needs to hold on a retracement to catch shallow retracement. I got my liquidity grab chart that catches the wrongly positioned traders that lets me know that I need to hold market structure on the way back up. All right. So the next setup, same thing. If you look at it right here, next setup, we get a retracement. I'm red, red. Look how it holds market structure again. Also, this is a setup here. Also, here's another short setup because we're going with a lower high. So take a look at that. That's what you do. The market structure was actually broken up here. Right, because see, price got back into my zone. So that's not a shallow retracement. Then it breaks the structure, and look how it's all the way down. All right, so that's how you can trade. I call this a sweet spot trade because what we're doing is, is we're letting the market establish trend with our dual trend filters, and we're looking for lower highs for shorts or higher lows for buys. Now let me blow this chart up so you can see a little bit better on both of them and then we'll turn this video off. That's what price action looks like on my liquidity grab chart. We want to see these lower highs and the weak trades. These are the sweet spot trades where the market really likes to move. If you just want to be patient and wait for both charts to line up to find the highest probability move and not get involved in chop, then you don't want to trade when it's green red. Green red is chop. Let it start showing lower highs with red red. If you want to even go and try to cherry pick trades where the market looks like it's going to go to vertical on you, let it be below the market structure on these retracements. Right? That's how you do it. If I look at the buy setups, it's the opposite. So the buy setups. I want to stay out of chop. So I want to stay when price gets into my market structure here. I want to trade this garbage. This is garbage. This is where all the chop traders get chopped out when you get into the deeper zone. I want the market to get above my structure, retrace, and stay above both trend zones. And they get a reversal. Entry stop. Stay above it. There's your close of the bar. Entry stop. Then it goes back into chop. We get inside. It's starting to get inside of. It's closing inside right here of the what? It's closing inside of the trend filters, and it's turning red green. That means stay stand aside. If it's closing inside of the dual trend filters, not outside of it, stand aside. Then what does the market do? It likes to get outside of that trend zone and start trending again. So you, you can tell when the market tries to cut loose. It tries to cut loose because what happens? It goes from green to red, the transition phase, here, into trend. Green, green all the way up. Look how price never gets into either trend filter. Buy, buy. It's yesterday. Buy, buy, buy. Shop, stand aside. Chop, stand aside. Look, all this trader is getting chopped out. Well, using this simple technique, you can stay out of chop. This works on all markets. Now, same thing on the way up. Chop area, it's getting inside. It's red, green. Then it turns green, green. Look how it stands, uh, stays above both market structures on my liquidity grab chart. Buy, buy, buy. Buy, buy. This is yesterday. Then what do we do? We go back into chop. Stand aside. Don't trade. Don't get chopped up in this. If we're getting into the dual trend filter, you're getting chopped up. All right. 